This video is sponsored by Positol Fraba. Hi, I'm Miles Budimer, Senior Editor with Design World, here with Two Minutes on Motion. Encoders can be split into linear, which measure linear motion or speed, and rotary, which measure rotation, and are the more common type. Linear and rotary uh, encoders can use optical or magnetic technology. Optical encoders are more common and provide higher accuracy and re uh, resolution. Magnetic encoders have an advantage in that they don't need to be in as tightly controlled of an environment as optical uh, encoders and can be used where there is higher humidity, dust, and other harsh conditions. Um, encoders can also be either absolute or uh, incremental. Absolute encoders have a unique code for each sa shaft uh, position. Uh, in other words, every position of an absolute encoder is uh, distinctive. The absolute encoder interprets a system of coded tracks to create position information where no two positions are uh, identical. Uh, another feature is that absolute encoders don't lose um, position when power is switched off. Absolute encoders can be either single turn or multi turn. Single turn encoders are well suited to short travel motion control applications where uh, position verification is needed within a single turn of the uh, encoder shaft. Multi-turn encoders, on the other hand, are better for applications that involve complex or lengthy uh, positioning requirements. The output signals of an incremental encoder, on the other hand, only have information on relative position, not absolute um, position like an absolute uh, encoder. In order for the encoder to provide any useful position information, the position of the encoder has to be referenced in some way, traditionally using an uh, index pulse. So the incremental encoder sends incremental position changes to electronic circuits that perform the counting function. Selecting a rotary encoder depends on a number of factors, chief of which are the accuracy requirements of the application, whether it's uh, position and or velocity um, control. Before deciding which encoder to select, Consider the most important factors, including um, the positioning accuracy, speed stability, audible noise, power loss, and bandwidth. For more in-depth information on encoders, go to www.motioncontroltips.com and click on Basics of Motion.